Okay, guys. So, I, okay, guys. So, obviously, I'm not here today, but we are going to still complete our Smarties activity. Mr. Lynn's just going to help you with it. So, take a minute. Let's get out your packets if you haven't already, because you already have this paper. Now, while you're getting that out, I'm just going to explain the background and what we're actually going to be doing. So every compound has a specific ratio of atoms bonded together. This ratio of atoms is written as a chemical formula, and we know that H2O has two H's and one O. In this activity, we're going to use a packet of Smarties and consider each pack a specific compound. You're going to be counting each atom, which are just the different color candies, to determine its chemical formula. From this information, you're going to calculate the formula mass, which is what we call our molar mass, and the chemical composition or percent composition of your compound. So the purpose of this activity is to simulate the construction of a chemical compound and its chemical formula to determine the formula mass, also known as the molar mass of the compound, and to determine the percent composition of the compound, all things that we can do. So Mr. Lynn, in just a minute, is going to give you a packet of Smarties. Don't eat them yet. The first thing you're going to do when you have your pack of Smarties is count your number of each color. And you're going to enter it in the data table. So if we looked at a data table, okay, this is what we're looking at. So you're going to enter the number of reds, the number of oranges, the numbers of yellows, greens, purples, and whites. Now, I get your, part, your Smarties are going to be pastel. So you're just going to have to know that pink is red, light orange is orange, that kind of thing. So it says once you do that, you're going to determine the compound's chemical formula. You're going to use the first letter of the color as its element symbol, and be, we're going to consider the proper subscript. So let me explain to you what that means. Let's say we had three reds. So it would be R3. Let's say we had... I don't remember what color came next. Yellows. Let's say we had two yellows. So it'd be Y2. Let's say we had three oranges. Oh, gosh. Wrong number. O3. And let's say that's all we had. Let's say we didn't have any whites and we didn't have any greens. Remember, if we don't have any of the element, we don't write it. So if we don't have any other colors, it's simply not going to be written. Okay? So this, if this is all I had, if I only had these eight elements, this would be my chemical formula. So remember, the little number is the number of that color, or in our case, element that you have. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do, Number three explains that you don't write it. Let's see. The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to total up your masses. So if you look back at this chart, all right, it has a spot for you to write your chemical formula down here. So I would have what? R3 and whatever else I just said. I don't remember. Okay. You would have put your numbers in. This is giving you your mass right here. And so remember, these two are we're going to multiply. So three times 12 is 36. So that's my mass of this red. You're going to do this complete all the way down your chart, okay? And then as we know, you're going to add these things together, and that's going to be your formula mass right here. So remember, your formula mass is the same thing as a molar mass. We talked about that. Now, once you get your molar mass, remember, that is also considered to be your whole. And that's important because up here, you're calculating your percent composition, okay? So remember, you're going to do total of that single element over the whole times 100. So it's part over whole times 100. Okay, now we're just going to round to a, a whole number just to make life a little easier. And then that's it. You're going to do that completely down the chart, and that is this side of the page. Now, that's not your only assignment because that should not take you long. Um, we are going to complete this side of the paper. So it's just the adjacent, remember, meaning next to side of the paper. 
Um, you do have to show me some work, um, something, okay? Now, I do want to do number one together because we might find it confusing. Um, so, number one says you have 9.03 grams of magnesium, and it's combined completely with 3.48 grams of nitrogen. So, Notice, what are the two elements we have? Magnesium and nitrogen. How much magnesium do we have? We have, we have 9.03. How much nitrogen do we have? We have 3.48, okay? So when we do this, if we're just solely combining magnesium and nitrogen, how much are we going to have total? So, guys, these are the easiest of the percent compositions because you're just going to add it up. So that's 11. So as we add this together, let's see, we get 5. Ah, where's the pen? There we go. 5.12. Grams. Are you, are you with me? So 12.51 grams. And guys, remember, this is going to be my whole because that's the mass of what we have together. So these are actually way easier because you don't have to look at the periodic table. So when I do my part for magnesium, okay, so the part of magnesium is 9.03 over the whole, which is 12.51. And remember, we're going to multiply it times 100. Okay, so, hold on, let me get a calculator. All right, so 9.03 over 12.51 times 100 gives me 72.18 and some change. So remember, we're going to go to a whole number because it's easier when, with a percentage. So my answer is going to be 72%. Now, obviously, we know we're not done, okay? So because we need to do nitrogen. Okay, so let me erase this over here so I have somewhere to write nitrogen. All right, so if we're doing nitrogen, okay? Remember, nitrogen's part was 3.48 over the whole, which was 12.51 times a hundred. Now, when I plug this into the calculator, don't forget your decimals. They're a little hard for me to see on this. I get 27.8177. So if I'm rounding this, because the last thing I'm dropping is an eight, the seven rounds up. So it's going to be 28%, which is perfect because 72 plus 28 equals 100. So on these boxes, I'm going to write Mg is 72% and nitrogen is 28%. Easy? No. So that'll be the top few. So that's how one through three will work. Um, when you get down to the bottom part, that will be your normal um percent composition that we've been doing. Easy? All right, once you get done with that, you have one more worksheet for me. Um, it's our mole review. That will be our study guide for our test. Remember, we will be doing a lab tomorrow, um, and we will be reviewing for our test. So don't forget, um, our test will be on Wednesday, and that will be our last major grade before our final exam. If you're my second block, don't forget, you have a research paper due for me tomorrow night. Be good, guys. All right, see you later. Bye.